Hello everyone, welcome to part 3 of my Clone Wars analysis series. In today's video, we will be examining Shadow of Malevolence, Season 1, Episode 3. The goal of this series is to unpack the Clone Wars animated show and look closely at its themes, characters, and politics. As always, there will be spoilers as we're covering the entire episode and series. That said, let's jump into it. Shadow of Malevolence is the third episode of the series and the second in a trilogy about the Separatist superweapon, the Malevolence. It is a ship with a dangerous ion weapon and is responsible for terror through a public space. After discovering it in the prior episode, Anakin plans to take it out, while Grievous, commanding the vessel, plans to continue his killing spree. The quote for the episode is, Easy is the path to wisdom for those not blinded by ego. And we will see this quote manifest in the central theme of ego, arrogance, and confidence, and the positives and negatives of those traits. Anakin's original plan is to bomb the Bridge of the Malevolence and kill Grievous. A clone notes that Anakin's plan is ambitious, Plo Koon has reservations about the plan, and Ahsoka notes that because Grievous is the leader of the Droid army, the bridge will be heavily defended, and that Anakin's plan is too bold to actually work. It comes down to the line between confidence and arrogance in one's plan, and as we will see, Anakin's plan cannot effectively work and he will have to set aside his ego in order to achieve a victory. We get visual storytelling of the Malevolence destroying more Republic cruisers and fleeing ships with their ion cannon and main guns. A droid comically notes that it's fun when they're not shooting back. It's a relentless depiction and the droids and groups like mercy in achieving their objective. The objectivity of the Separatists have been explored in the former two episodes as well. Grievous further shows a lack of mercy and breaks one of the droids that fails to fire effectively. Dooku notes the price of the droids, which shows the monetary side of the war, and is relevant as Dooku is a very wealthy character who funds the Separatists. Dooku understands the Jedi's methods as he was once one, and he scolds Grievous' actions by saying that the Jedi are nicer to their clone soldiers. Grievous replies that the Jedi's care is a weakness, and this correlates strongly to Return of the Jedi, where Luke tells the Emperor that his overconfidence is weakness, and Palpatine retorts that his faith in his friends is his weakness. Compassion can either be a strength or a flaw based on perspective, and in both of these instances it is juxtaposed by arrogance. The relentless nature of the Malevolence and the Sith is expanded upon in their mission to destroy a medical station. So far, the Clone Wars has shown the Separatists to be breaking all sort of what we would perceive to be war crimes by assaulting negotiators, not taking prisoners, and attacking what is effectively a hospital. The central theme of Ego is highlighted by the primary villain of the episode, Grievous. He doesn't want any ships to get away and says, I have a reputation to uphold. That is a statement firmly grounded in Ego and is the root of his overconfidence and inevitable failure. Upholding one's reputation is a selfish thing to do, and George Lucas has always emphasized that the dark side is selfish, while the light is selfless. When the plan to stop the malevolence seems unlikely for success, the woman at the medical station says, it is our only hope, which is another nod to the original trilogy. Another juxtaposition within this episode also calls on a new hope for its thematic relevance. Grievous' ship relies on the computer for its course to the medical frigate, and goes around the nebula for a safe path. Anakin and his men fly through the nebula. Ahsoka gets irritated because her scanner slash technology isn't working and can't help her in this situation. Anakin explains that one has to feel their way through, which is reminiscent of Obi-Wan's ghost telling Luke to use the Force while flying down the Death Star Trench. It's a different situation, but it's a similar idea used to express the power of self and feeling, intuition, rather than relying on technology to do it for you. Dooku warns Grievous not to underestimate Skywalker. It goes in one ear and out the other for Grievous, and he expresses that Skywalker is underestimating the malevolence by launching the attack. Grievous is again portraying ego and overconfidence, which is ultimately his weakness. It's a very common trait in Star Wars, such as Anakin thinking he could take Obi-Wan while at a disadvantage on Mustafar, or Palpatine believing that there was no Anakin left in Vader at the end of Return of the Jedi. There are some connections to the Phantom Menace in this episode, as the route through the nebula is called Balmora Run, and Anakin knows about it from his childhood. As we know, he's a great pilot and was immersed in the life as a child despite being a slave and got experience from the pod races, but also gained lots of knowledge and heard many stories from the smugglers and pilots he associated with on Tatooine as a kid. Hearing this information gives a bit more insight into Anakin's childhood as well as the familiar smuggling routes for the likes of Han Solo's type of crowd. When Matchstick is hit by one of the nebula life forms, his Y-Wing side catches fire and smoke for a bit, and the camera angle somewhat mirrors Anakin's pod from the pod race as well. Grievous has two options for action, and his arrogance and interest in his reputation get the best of him. He can turn the ship around, launch fighters, and engage Anakin right away, or he can fire his ion cannon at the evacuation of the medical center. He chooses the greedy strategy as he wants to take as many lives as he can, and fires the ion cannon first before turning around. This positions him to be in a disadvantage as when he goes to do fire on Anakin, the ion beam only gets a few of his fighters and not all of them. 
Then again, he can choose to take on Anakin's ships or attack the medical station. But Grievous is so focused on his objective and his reputation that he continues to attack and put himself in a disadvantage without truly realizing it. In terms of the greater malevolence arc, his actions make some sense as the prior episode had a thematic weight around life. The Jedi value life and the Separatists want to extinguish it. Grievous is in character to want to take the lives of the wounded on the medical center, but ultimately he's blinded by Ego for making that decision. The odds are against Anakin as he already lost a few ships and the Malevolence's bridge is simply too well defended for him to be successful, and he can either make the arrogant Ego choice to continue with his plan or he can adapt his plan. It is Ahsoka who is the voice of reason that convinces Anakin to change his plan. Anakin is too rooted in his own ego and mission, similarly to Grievous, that he can't see that his plan is currently failing and that everyone else on his squadron is dying. As arrogance and ego are aspects of the dark side, this is the beginning of seeing that Ahsoka is the weight that keeps Anakin grounded in the light throughout the Clone Wars, and only demonstrates that in her absence he's more likely to fall to his own ego. Ahsoka and Plo Koon's reasoning convinces Anakin to bomb the Ion Cannon while it's charging, causing it to overload, and thus crippling the Malevolence, cementing Grievous' failure. As Shadow of Malevolence is part of the greater arc, it is worth noting how it connects to the other episodes within this trilogy to examine plot relevancy. As we discussed, the first episode prioritized life. The relentless murder and terror of Grievous and the Malevolence are shared by both episodes. The next episode has a motif of plans and adaptation, and learning from others. We see that idea ease into the arc at the end of this episode when Ahsoka convinces Anakin to change his plan. He learned from Ahsoka and adapted to a more successful strategy. Next time we will analyze Destroy Malevolent and unpack its themes and characters.